The stage behind me in the main media centre in Doha was the scene on Saturday morning for a quite extraordinary press conference from FIFA President Gianni Infantino. In what was supposed to be his brief opening remarks, he ended up delivering an hour-long monologue in which he took aim at FIFA's critics, at Qatar's critics, at his own critics, essentially anybody who's had any sort of issue with the tournament being staged here right back from when the vote was held in 2010. He accused Europe and the West of hypocrisy over criticism of Qatar's treatment of migrant workers. He insisted that LGBTQ plus people are welcome here and he essentially trivialised the late decision to ban alcohol inside stadiums by suggesting that, sarcastically, that if people you know, need to go three hours without alcohol, they will survive. He said that if that was the biggest problem that this Qatar World Cup had, he would sign up immediately and go and sit on the beach and relax until the final on the 18th of December. This was clearly a man who's felt the criticism in recent weeks and months about all of the circumstances around Qatar and, and the human rights record in particular. Uh, and he really wanted to go out here on the front foot on the eve of a tournament and, and ended it really by saying, don't criticise the players, criticise Qatar, don't criticise anyone, criticise me. I'm the one who's supposed to take all this on the chin. It, it's clearly something that has gotten to him up until now. And he was desperate for the focus to be on the football. Of course, when the games start, people will get into those matches and will have football to write about and that will be something else that we clearly can can enjoy but these issues these off-field issues are going to be a persistent theme of this tournament whether Infantino likes it or not well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.